Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ancestral Owl Messages for the mid-October reads to the mid-October to November. And this is for the sign of Leo. Oh, it's the sign of my father and my oldest son. Two fire energies in the same house. That's not good. Anyway, okay. Light some incense here. My little space going. Okay. First read is going to be a mess read. It's a shamanic healing read. Mental, emotional, spiritual relationship with self. Um, mental, emotional, and spiritual. This is our internal makeup. I've added relationship with self because. It's your relationship with yourself that actually, I was led to add it, but it's your relationship with yourself that leads the healing or blocks that healing. You can either neglect that healing in your life or you can feed it. Okay, here we go. So, there'll be four categories. Top line is what the world sees and you have at the heart of the matter and then that which is hidden from view. Okay, here we go. Let's pray. Father God, Great Creator, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angel, Spirit Guides, I ask for wisdom and clarity in the messages that need to come forth for Leo, the sign of Leo, for mid-October to November in this their shamanic mess healing read. That whoever needs to hear this message will hear it. That they will be guided to it. That they will receive the healing that they need. In Jesus' name, amen. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Here we go. Okay. All right. Mental. That's funny. Already... Already showing signs of, yep, definitely a fire sign. Okay, emotional. Spiritual. Relationship with self. I don't read reversals, especially not in this read. Um, I read the energy. So, a lot of pages here. Okay. Strength card. Strength card. All right. Let's see what's going on. What the world sees. Leos, what is going on? Okay, what the world sees. Ace of Pentacles, your mind on your money. Resources, new business venture, new job opportunity. Yep. Inside, Nine of Pentacles, job well done. Plenty of resources, you're doing good. And Seven of Wands. There is something that was said and you don't like what was said. Yes, most Leos do that. Or most fire energies do that. I'm a fire, I'm a fire sign. Then what people don't see is the Empress. This is being in charge and control of your life. And see, I this is hidden from you, but everybody knows this. It's like, I feel like back here, everybody knows it. Everybody knows this. Now, emotionally, people are seeing this. This is nostalgia. This is being caught up in the past. So much so that breaks your heart like it, it 
it pulls you back into the past. There's some answers that you're looking for in the past. There's some questions that you still have lingering. Then you have the heart of the matter, emotionally, is Page of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Now, it's so funny. There's so many Pentacles here. You're looking for resources. You're questioning the resources thing. You're not knowing what to do about the resources. Like, there's, like, there's so many, like, you're worried about it. Like, it's, there's pentacles everywhere. Like, this is on your mind. Why? Why is it on your mind? Why is it on your mind? Page of pentacles. You, the page of pentacles is that new opportunity, but it's like, in its youthful stages, but the Queen of Pentacles, she's got her shit together. She's feeding everybody. She's good. So I don't know why the world sees you as being caught up in the past, and then what's hidden from you is Nine of Swords, deep mourning, deep grief. And that's hidden from you. I don't know who you're trying to hide this from. Are you hiding it from yourself? <gasps> like emotionally, this here. Is that a female in your life? Start a new relationship. That's good. Or the roles can be reversed. Kings can be queens. But there's like what the world sees is you... The nostalgia, like in the past, this is an old relationship that you're going over in your head. You have the resources emotionally, you have the resources financially, like you do. It shows up everywhere, like you have these resources. Emotionally, you're caught in that morning. Is that because of the nostalgia of the past? Is there something from the past that you're mourning? Okay, and there's... You have a queen and you have a king. The empress. Knight. Two pages. Because you go to spiritual sector here. Knight or king of swords. King of swords. Getting shit done. Now the spiritual sector will show what's happened in the other sides. So this is getting shit done. This is taking control over who you are and your life. Okay, that's that's the spiritual side. That's what people see. That's what people see. In the heart of the matter is, you've had to do this because in order to gain victory and have a stable positioning, stable being, stable home, after being attacked, you've had to take control and say no because in order to get this you had to go through this and yeah then you have what's hidden from view is six of cups this is happiness this is your cup is running over to others you're giving out to others this could be resources could be emotions this could be love this is who you are now Relationship with self. Walking away. Take care of yourself. I don't care what's happened here. Take care of yourself. Get rest. Practice self-care. Meditate. Read a book. Listen to music that you like. Watch a movie. Like Do something. Take a minute. At the heart of the matter is Knight of Pentacles and Page of Wands. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. This is a teenager. Trust me, I have them. I have teenagers. They are slow anyway. Now. This means, in this position, is... Well, I have something I'm going to do for myself. New conversation for myself. New something. I'll get to it eventually no do it now do it now take the time 
you have to feed yourself in order to feed others. You have to take care of yourself. What's hidden from you is strength. Now, you know you're strong. You know you've got this. You know that you have the inner strength to get through this morning. But you have to admit this to yourself. You are in mourning. You are in grief. It's fine. It's hidden from view because you're thinking and talking about the past. You are. The people closest to you know this. They know this. Don't hide it. It's okay. Alright, let me get four off the bottom for each of this. Hi, Priestess. Five of Swords. Two of Swords. And the Fool. Okay. High Priestess in the mental spot. Your advice from Spirit. Holy Spirit. It's like each of these is a medicine wheel in the center spot is the advice from Spirit. High Priestess. You are making shit happen. Every fire sign, I don't care who we are, we make shit happen. We make shit happen, we pull it out of thin air, we got it going. We, we just take care of it. Doesn't matter, we got it going. So no matter what happened here mentally that you're going over and over in your mind, you're making shit happen, it's going to be taken care of. Emotionally, what has hurt you is that you've had to fight someone constantly because they're not getting it. This is fighting to win. This is what it, you want to be able to do this. Somebody ain't letting you. Like I can even hear. I and, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Right here, right here, I hear. I would like to get through this if they leave me the fuck alone. They know it's a no. I would like to get through this and deal with this. I would like to think about this. I would like to deal with this. But they have to leave me the fuck alone. Let's be honest here. Let's break it down like adults here. Leave me the fuck alone. That's what it is. Like I can hear it. Like loud. Right here. Like it, it, you're not thinking about it. Like try not to think about it. Because you're getting shit done. You are. You got two. The Empress and the High Priestess. You're getting shit done. But right here, you would like to deal with this if they leave you the fuck alone. Then you get to the spiritual side. Now the spiritual side will reveal stuff in these three that doesn't show up there. And this is where it shows up. Because there's been that wounding. Ten of Swords. But there's been that home. Stability of home for of wands. In the center is two of swords, which is a decision, decision that was made or has to be made. Going to have to make it. King of swords. That's what the world sees. Going to have to make it. Whatever decision you make, you make that decision. Like, that's what the two of swords is, is making that decision. Then, in relationship with self, you have the fool. This is jumping off, taking a chance, taking a risk on something. Go ahead. I would rather this person, whoever this is for, take a risk on something for themselves to nourish themselves than to see this, the Seven of Swords, which is walking away and abandoning yourself. Abandon your needs. Don't do that. Take a risk. Take a leap of faith. Go do something for you that nourishes you. And that takes care of you. That will feed this. Because what's hidden from you is strength. But you have to stand in that strength. You have to deal with this. This is mourning. This is grief. This is, this is three times worse than the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords can be a disappointment. That could be somebody in our family saying something stupid to us. And trust me, I've had that happen. So, I mean, 
this is three times worse. This is the morning. This is up late at night. This is broken heart. Like, what could I have done? Like, this person isn't here anymore. I see this as grief. These are the stages of grief. This is going through it, knee deep in it. I, Leo, I would love for you to be able to go through that and heal from it. And I agree. See, this is the... This is the advice. This is Zach Center from the Holy Spirit. Tell him to leave you the fuck alone. Tell him. Just go that way. That's all you gotta do. Like, there's a fight here. And you can see it. That there's been a battle. There's a battle. There is. There, like, it shows up here. Shows up there. Shows up this because you're holding this against yourself. You're holding something against yourself. That's the reason you're walking away. And this is... You have to tell them in order to get to this grief. Like, I get it. Because these wands, something was said. Like, it, it's showing up here. But you got this shit together here. You got the pentacles, which is the resources that you need to get through this. You do. But there's a lot of swords. That's what I'm saying. When it comes to the battle thing, there's a lot of swords here. A lot of swords. If you have to put your foot down, be that. King of swords. But you got a king and queen here. You do. You got a king and queen here. So if this is someone new that's coming into your life, good. But I really feel like this is the divine masculine in you and the divine feminine. That you're embracing both the nurturing, but the resources of your own emotional well-being. Like you have that there for other people. You're just giving it, you're not giving it to yourself. Oh, I'll do it later. No, do it now. Do it now. All right, let me pull one of these for each. Occasionally, I do this. Like, I don't know. I just feel like to do that. Top or bottom? Top. Okay. Past, present, and future. Abundance. Healing energy. Anger. Let's face this one first. Stop being mad at yourself. Stop being mad at yourself. It's all right. Let this go. Come on. Come on. Let it go. It's fine. Stop being angry at yourself. It, it, it couldn't be that bad to where it was that much anger. The spiritual side, there's that healing energy. That's for all of it. I, I'm, I'm, that was the shamanic healing deck, oracle card deck. This is abundance for emotion, your emotional sector. There is abundance here. You have this. For mental, past, present, and future. That's the reason the high priestess and the empress is here. Because the high priestess and the empress both. The empress is all. It's embodiment of all four queens. That's the queen of cups. The emotional queen. Queen of swords standing in her own power and saying fuck off. The queen of um, pentacles which is on the board. Which is the queen of resources. That's the mother nurturing. Um, find money where there is no money type of thing. And the queen. The good old queen of wands. Which is fire energy. And that is protecting her family. Protecting her people. 
So the Empress is all four of those. That's hidden from view, but the High Priestess sees past, present, and future and sees the connection between them. So Leo, Leos, whoever this is for, don't be, let the anger go. A healing, you know, deal with this. You got this. Forgive yourself. You have emotional abundance to do it. Everything's good. Everything's good. You can make it. Love and light.